Hello guys, today at Tips and Tricks, I will show you something very interesting. I have here an alarm bell. And inside of this alarm bell is this mechanism. This is a coil, solenoid. And inside it has a metal core. Which, due to magnetism, a bit attracted inside, and then the spring will push it outside. So basically, it's it's moving like this, hitting this. Yeah, like this. It makes like this, and I don't like how it works. I also. I want to make it work for a phone ringer and this would not work I mean it definitely would not work the rework of this part is quite hard and for me it's easier to work in DC anyway so I'd like to get rid of this part and do something interesting as a project yeah so to make it work Still at 220, it can work 220, um, but to make it work also as a phone ringer at, at uh, the voltage that it's it's going on there, which is uh, from 70 to 90 AC, yeah, depending on country and so on, but uh, never mind, I mean, it's, it's just, it has to work with that uh, sinus of, of, of 70 volt and then it should not create problems with the DC signal of the phone, which is minus 48 volt. Maybe in some countries my, minus 50. So let's see what I did. So this is what I stuffed inside. I placed a little motor, DC motor. I printed for the motor kind of a head which uses this spinning metal plate. Yeah. And when it's spinning metal plates will metal plates will touch the inner side of, of this bell and then I printed the support and regarding the circuit what I have here is first of all there's a cap here it's like this one I placed it there inside, I placed the support for it because it's quite huge. Some discharge resistors, I didn't have um, something bigger, so I placed like three. Um, and then this is a bridge, a diode bridge, just a simple diode bridge with a cap. So diode bridge with a cap, yeah. you can see the diode there. Okay, and this is it. I mean, the capacitor will decouple in DC. The device from the signal and then um, in AC, it will act as a huge load, yeah. And then we have rectification and then DC we have the the cap here which is helping the motor and then it's, it's the motor that's it so I want this motor 
to work at 12 volt, close to 12 volt, I have no problem if it's working somewhere below but or above, but uh, the idea is to work somewhere at 12 volt. I made some trials and it works at 70, but I can also test it at 220, so I made this adapter for 220. And I'm plugging it in now, and you will see how it works. Yeah, so it spins. Okay, so if I put it back. Okay, so let's see it now. Yay! And we have a phone ringer. Oh, this sounds so nice. Okay, see you guys.